but we most definitely found a dead, dumped, abandoned horse. Right there, there's something moving and crawling in the mud. Wait, right there. You all are not gonna believe what I just found out here. Right next to this old burned boat, it smells really bad, guys. You're not gonna wanna know what we found. There's a dead horse that was literally dumped out here. What is up, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now, for today's video, well, of course, today was absolutely insane. Today, I went on a morning python hunt since it was cold last night, and I figured we'd go look for pythons. I haven't been python hunting in a while. I've been busy, and what better time to go than the morning after a cold front? Well, all I'm gonna say is, we may or may not have found pythons, but we most definitely found a dead, dumped, abandoned horse. That's all I'm going to tell you guys. It was insane. I cannot believe we found it. I can't believe someone dumped it. And well, guys, if you want to see the horse, when we found him, what happened to him, where he is now, well, guys, you are in the right place. So if you guys want to see that, well, guys, we're going to hop right into it. So we just got here to one of our first spots, and I just saw something moving in the mud. If you look right there, there's something moving and crawling in the mud. It looks like it could be a turtle. It could be some sort of a lizard. I'm not sure, but there's something definitely in that mud pile right there. Let's go take a look at it. Let's go see what we can find. There's definitely something in here. I'm not sure what it could be. Where is he? All right, this is hard to see because there's just all this mud right here, but there's just something moving around. It looked like it was like right over here. It looks like it's just rocks and wait right there. That's it. Look at that. It looks like it's a, let me zoom in. The sun is really bright. It looks like a little, like a box turtle. You can see his head right there. That looks like a shell and he's just in the mud right now. Let's take a look. Let's see. Let's see if I'm right right now. Let's go one, two, three. And it is a box turtle. It looks like it's a native Florida box turtle that was just hanging out right now in the mud. Look at him right now. Let's look. Let's, you can see his shell's all dirty and covered in mud. Let's actually put a little spit on him. If we get a little spit on them, we can try and clean them up a little bit. You can see this is one of the coolest native turtles right here. Look at that. All right, let's try to clean them up a little more. I want you guys to see his colors. Let's see. Okay, he's here. Let's, I think I have a napkin in the car. Let's try and clean him up a little bit. I want you guys to see him. This is so cool to find him. Look at this. All right, I was able to clean him up just a little bit and you can see he's got just this incredible pattern, these incredible colors up on his shell. What, oh, you almost jumped out of my hands, buddy. Look at him, he's lively, he's active, he's ready to be moving on. Look at this little guy, what an incredible animal right here. And he was just hanging out in the mud right now. He must have gotten really warm this morning and was cooling off in the mud. A lot of animals will actually utilize this mud to cool off and this little guy, if we didn't see him, we could have definitely ran him over. And that's the problem with a lot of our native wildlife is these guys actually get crossed in human interaction. I was literally gonna drive right over this mud pile right here. I, probably, I could have ran him over. But how cool is that to find this native little guy right here? Now, the reason why they call him box turtles is because he can actually close his plastron, the whole bottom of a shell. He can enclose himself in, this part closes and that part and he can totally just enclose himself off. So let's actually take him right now. Let's move him off the road. We don't want to run him over. So we're just going to put him right here. This was the direction he was going. So he'll head this way. This just looks like a big avocado farm and he'll be on his way and he'll just hang out in the leaf litter. There you go, buddy. How you doing? Bye. One hour later. Guys, we made it out here to one of our python hunting locations. And as you can see, we're in the wilderness. We've got some swamp here. We got all this marsh woody area and also not only do we have that but we have all of this trash here as you guys know south florida is a dumping ground so people dump trash here and there and all over the place but the this right here is a particularly good area for pythons in my opinion i feel like the pythons are easily able to get up underneath these poles right here it's a cool winter morning here in south florida which means all the pythons that were burrowed up in the night should be out they should be sunning and what better place than right here this area is great because you got all these thick dense bushes and all up in these thick dense bushes is where the pythons are going to want to hang out the pythons at night are going to be tucked away here and then during the day they'll kind of stretch their bodies out and catch those sun rays and then if any predator comes they're going to slip back into the bushes oh what do we got here oh there's a bag this plastic bag has some sort of an animal in it i'm not sure if you guys can 
can see it, but it looks like maybe some Santeria voodoo. You can see all the flies, but there's some sort of a dead animal inside of that bag right there. Here in South Florida, many people practice a special type of voodoo called Santeria. It's a Haitian voodoo, so people sacrifice goats, pigs, chickens, and they dump them in bags all over the place. Um, it's a common sight. If you guys are in South Florida, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know about Santeria, you want to know more, we'll look it up online But that right there. Definitely Santeria, someone dumped some bodies, but we're gonna check out this area and this just makes me so sad to think that people are dumping their trash out here. Like there's dumps, there's better places to do it than here. Like, all right, this is wood, that's not so bad. I'm, I'm actually gonna come back to take these. I, I actually could use these. I could use these for building all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna come back and take some of these. But this right here, I mean, come on guys, this is uncalled for. Even though this trash is here, this is prime python territory. If you look right over here, all of this palm debris is, could, oh, I just saw something move here. Let's lift this on up. Let's see, one, two. Oh, oh, nothing under there. But all of this debris right here is potential python area. I mean, this right here is a prime territory for a python to nest up in, to nestle up in. You can see it's got all this wood, all these thick, dense areas. And, and I honestly would not be surprised if I see a python coiled up in the bushes. I mean, that would be ideal. That would be the coolest but wish me luck i mean hopefully we can find one i mean that's the reason why we're here do you guys see that right here do you see this line this line right here looks like a python trail it looks like a python slithered through the water here it looks like he just made a little trail right here you can see that would be a that's what you call a tail slide either that or a baby alligator but this right here looks like some sort of a python's tail slide like there was some sort of a python here and the python could is this like thick mud oh my goodness there could be a python right under here let's feel okay nothing just mud just this thick goopy mud and this right here is going to keep the pythons cool once it heats up it's about 70 degrees out but once it cools once it heats up the pythons will actually get inside of this mud they'll sit in here and they'll cool off with the mud i mean my hands are already a lot cooler all right wait i why i'm, I'm dirty oh <laughs> We got a mattress. If anyone needs a new mattress, let me know. I'll come pick it up for you. It's slightly used. It's got just a little bit of dirt on it. So guys, let me know. And ooh, th there could be a python under here. Let's take a look. I don't think, oh, let's see. Oh, I don't think we're gonna be able to see it, but all under here is where the pythons could be. You all are not gonna believe what I just found out here. Right next to this old burned boat. It smells really bad, guys. You're not gonna wanna know what we found. Oh my goodness. There's a dead horse that was literally dumped out here. It must have been dumped out here because as you know, this whole area is a dumping ground for stuff. People dump these boats here. They've dumped all kinds of stuff. It really smells really, really bad out here. But I'm not sure what happened here, what went wrong. Either this horse died and this someone came and dumped it or this horse was sick. Someone brought it out here, euthanized it and left it here. I'm not sure, but all I know is someone dumped a horse out here. This horse didn't just magically appear here. It's just so sad and sickening to think that people are so cruel that they would just come and dump their poor horse here. I mean, I, I, it it's really smells really bad. I mean, it must have been here. This is at least day four or five. I would say maybe day six because it's all swollen up and it looks like maybe the head was burned. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm not going to get too close to it, but I'll zoom in on it a little bit. But that is a horse right there. You can see that that right there is, is part of the skull and that's the whole body. But there's really not much left of the skull and... Well, there's only one thing left to do. Um, I need you guys to comment down below a prayer for this poor horse right here. Really saddens me to come out here. A day of python hunting turned wrong by finding this poor dead horse. Guys, I'm just, I don't even know what to say. This is all I'm gonna show, but this right here is the skull of the horse. You can see all the horse teeth. You can see part of his skull here. And this horse, it looks like maybe the head was actually burned here. You could see all of that dark brown like there. It looks like it was burned. It looks like there's all this ash just on the head, but the rest of the horse doesn't seem to be burned, but the entire skull looks like it was burned and set on fire. I'm not sure who would do this, but whoever would do something like this is, is really a sick person, especially if this was someone's beloved pet horse, to just bring your pet out here and leave it to die. I mean, who would do that? And well, that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's python hunting video. Despite finding this horse, um, we didn't find any pythons 
but we found a poor dead dumped horse. If you guys enjoyed today's video, we'll go right now. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below a prayer for this poor helpless horse. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet, you want to see more python hunting, you want to see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals. So guys, all you got to do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post.